going to go to um, the closing statements at this point. Uh, this is your, your final opportunity to make an impression. Two minutes for each person. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Uh, it takes a lot to be out here on a Sunday night. It really just lately takes a lot for many of us that work two jobs or, or, uh, or just doing our best to get by sometimes, right? Uh, we have family, right? So really just again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you everyone. Thank you, you sir, moderator. Uh, everyone that's, that's uh, getting the equipment out there and, and, and making sure that we're able to have this debate. Thank you so much. Look, you know me, I'm an unapologetic progressive. Uh, I'm really coming out here pulling no punches back. You know my policies. My website is basketsforcongress.com. Uh, I'm out here with my team, my family. None of us uh, in my team has worked in electoral politics. I volunteered. I volunteered for the Obama campaign. I do have a lot of federal experience. I have uh, local experience. I have state experience. And I have international experience. All of that together, coming from low income, from communities that are always in the short, getting the short end of the stink. How about that? I'm here. I'm going to be your next Congress member uh, for the 53rd. I hope I can count with your support. If you're not there yet, I'll be right here. Let's talk. Thank you so much, Joaquin Vasquez. Hello, everyone. This is almost over. Uh, so I want to say thank you to Indivisible. These, these events are very difficult to get off the ground, and I really appreciate making this forum available for our community. Um, I, I want to start by saying I'm the only candidate here with a young son. He's five years old. It's really the driving force for me when I look at him knowing that the planet may not be livable in 15 years or falling into destruction and despair. So when I look at him, I think of one thing. I'm going to do everything I damn can to make sure that we have a future for our generations below us. So when we look at this election, we can't say this is all about Trump. Obviously, Trump is a bad guy. I don't think anybody in here needs to be convinced of that. Well, we need to be looking at what is going to happen after Trump. That's what we need to start thinking about, because there will be an after, hopefully. <laughs> but that's not the only agenda. We also have to take a look at where money comes from. It's not all corporate PACs, it's also dark money too. Dark money comes from the political party process that gets leadership PACs together, and that money comes from who knows where. So when we receive leadership PAC money, think about where that's coming from because it's impossible to trace. That's why it's called dark money. And we need to also talk about the fact that Medicare for All is very clear. It isn't a dance around, this is what it's going to be, hopefully. It is a bill that is already in Congress, that is already gathering support, and we need to pass it now. So we need to be more clear on that, and that's the elimination of private health insurance that is holding the noose in our necks. And then I was also kind of sad that we didn't talk about homelessness. Homelessness is such an issue. We, Sarah Jacobs and Joaquin and I, we went to the park over here in Spring Valley and saw a homeless encampment. And I was able to talk to people about their problems and it made it really real. So I'm Jose Caballero. Please go to my website, joseforcongress.us. Because this is a fighting chance that we can have a real representative in Congress that's going to fight for progressive values with an intellect and resolve. Thank you. We made it. <laughs> thank you all for coming out tonight, and thank you to Indivisible for putting this on. Uh, look, I am a fighter who has spent my entire career standing up for what I believe in and fighting to change the system at every level. Uh, I'm not a millionaire or a career politician. I'm a Marine Corps captain, a business owner, and I have experience on Capitol Hill. That experience matters, and I think it's demonstrated in how I've run my campaign so far. You know, a couple months ago, nobody had ever heard of me because I wasn't involved in partisan politics at all. Um, in the last couple of months, we have built a campaign team that is beating expectations at every turn. I've raised over $100,000 in each of the last two quarters, all of those uh, from, mostly from grassroots donations, zero corporate PAC dollars. Um, we have built a campaign volunteer team that is growing by the day, and if you'd like to join it, we'll be in the back signing folks up after this. Uh, my policy positions are on my website. You can read more in depth about what I care about, which is janessagoldbeck.com. And I think that elections should be about change. They should be about bringing people into office who will move the national conversation, not just for San Diego, but help set the tone for what it is we believe we can accomplish as progressives. 
I know that we can achieve real things, big things. I've seen it before, and I'm ready to fight for it now. You know, when I decided to run, a lot of people said, well, you should run for city council because nobody's ever heard of, heard of you before. There's a big difference between city council and Congress. And whether or not we have a Democrat in the White House in 2021, I hope to God that we do. It's important that we have someone who can hit the ground running on day one to push back against this administration, push back against the policies that have been enacted, and push forward on the things, the vision that we believe in. Elections should be about electing the best person to the job, not the best connected or the wealthiest. My name is Jim Janessa Goldbeck. My website is janessagoldbeck.com, and I'd be honored to earn your vote and your support. Thank you. So, once again, thank you for staying, for moderating, and keeping us on track. I'm a timekeeper as well. Thank you. It's an incredible work. So, my name is Georgia Gomez, and I'm hoping that I can earn your support. When I first ran for city council, and actually having governmental um, experience does matter when you're trying to represent our community. And I have that. I've been a community, a community organizer, I've been a policy advocate, and now I'm a public servant as the, as the council president for the city of San Diego. And not just, not just been there uh, warming up my seat, I've been actually moving policy and addressing our affordable housing crisis, taking on polluters before becoming an elected, took on the utility company, and now that I sit in SANDAG, I have the great pleasure of taking on the Republicans that are pushing back on moving and investing in their transit system. I'm not backing away from any issue that is in front of us. For me, it's about making sure that we're creating a government system at any level that is responsive to our communities, specifically to our underserved communities. That is the heart that I bring to this election. And that's what I brought to City Hall. This is what I'll bring to DC to ensure that we are creating a government that is for the people, that is investing in our communities, and is making sure that we're talking about race. Because we need to talk about race in this race. Class, income inequalities, our climate action plan matters, and we need to start lifting that and investing and making sure that we're doing things differently, that we are addressing our income inequality issues, that we are addressing our communities that have been left behind by the fact they happen to be brown and black communities, that we are addressing our immigration issues. There's a lot of issues that are not being moved forward, and that's because we have a government system that is, yes, it is beyond Trump, we have a system that is broken, and this is the leadership that I will bring. Georgia Gomez, and I would love to earn your support and invite you to be part of our grassroots campaign. Well, hi everyone. Thank you so much for spending your Sunday afternoon slash evening with us. I'm especially impressed that there are this many people in the room on playoff football Sunday. Um, Danny, I know you'd rather be watching football right now. I appreciate that you're here. <laughs> So here's the deal. Uh, in 2021, either the House is going to be the last bulwark standing in the way of a Trump administration's harmful policies, or we're going to be working with a new president's ambitious policy agenda. Either way, we can't afford to have someone who's spending those two years getting their sea legs. We need someone who's worked making and implementing public policy at the federal level. Now, I can't agree that we're, I can't promise that we're going to agree on everything. In fact, I imagine everyone in this room probably doesn't agree with each other. But here's what I can promise. I promise that any issue that comes to me, I have thought deeply about it. I have thought deeply about the consequences of any decision that will be made. And I can promise you that I will always listen. I literally worked in diplomacy, building international coalitions on some of the most difficult challenges around the world. I'm really proud of the campaign that we've built. We're knocking on doors every single day. I see some of our amazing volunteers in the room, and 66% of our contributions are $100 or less. We are talking to voters every single day, and I can tell you that voters like what they hear. Now, I think it's important to say, I'm not running against anybody. I'm not running against Donald Trump. I'm not running against any of the very impressive candidates on this stage. I'm running because I've talked to folks in our district, and I know that they are not willing to settle for the way things have always been done. I've seen firsthand what San Diegans are capable of when we come together and have a big idea and actually work to get it done. And I know that together, we're going to win the White House, we're going to win the Senate, and we're going to send a new generation of leadership to Congress and make sure that San Diego actually gets what we need. So again, my name is Sarah Jacobs. Um, I, I would be very honored to have your support. Thank you so much. It's okay to clap now. Thank you, too.
I want, to, I want to thank all the candidates for um, a very informative session and also for their endurance during a two-hour debate.